Game Show Network is an American pay television channel that is a joint venture between Sony Pictures Television owning a 58% interest and AT&T holding 42% through WarnerMedia. The channel's programming is primarily dedicated to game shows, including reruns of classic game shows, along with new, first-run original and revived game shows. For a period in the mid-2000s, Game Show Network began branching out into «games» in general, including reality competition series and televised poker shows. Game Show Network is available to 79 million households in America as of January 2016. History 1992–1994, pre-launch, Game Show Channel On May 7, 1992, Sony Pictures Entertainment joined forces with the United Video Satellite Group to launch Game Show Channel, which was set to launch in 1993. The announcement of the channel was made by SPE President Mel Harris. Sony Pictures holdings included those by Merv Griffin Enterprises and Barris Industries, Inc. SPE was in competition with the Family Channel in launching a game show-oriented channel when the Family Channel announced the launch of its own service called Game Channel. On December 2, 1992, Sony Pictures Entertainment made a deal to acquire the Barry and Enright Game Show Library, and in a separate deal, struck a 10-year licensing agreement for the rights to the Mark Goodson Game Show Library of more than 20,000 episodes including among others, What's My Line, Family Feud and To Tell the Truth. Upon the deal, Sony said it would sell an equity stake in the network to Mark Goodson Productions, including the production of new original series by Jonathan Goodson Productions. Both deals were completed on December 7, 1992, 11 days before Mark Goodson's death. On June 6, 1994, Mark Goodson Productions pulled out of the venture. Topic: 1994 to 1997 Game Show Network. Game Show Network launched at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on December 1, 1994. The first aired game show was What's My Line? From 1994 until about 1997, the network aired classic pre-1972 game shows as well as game shows made after 1972, most of which came from the Mark Goodson Bill Todman Library. The network aired game shows in a 24-hour cycle, and also used live interstitials as wraparound programming. In its first few months, GSN's commercials consisted of public service announcements PSAs, promotions for its programming and commercials related to network parent company Sony. By 1995, when the network began to expand, the network began accepting conventional advertising as it gained new sponsorships. On March 17, 1997, the Game Show Network rebranded with a new presentation package and a new logo which had the network's name in boxes and a colorful swirling ball and a new slogan, All Play, All Day. While the logo changed, its programming remained unchanged. The network also debuted new promos and new idents on that day, which were designed by graphics agency Lee Hunt Associates. On October 11, 1997, the network's rights to the Goodson Todman Library expired, with the exceptions of The Price is Right and the 1994 95 season of Family Feud, the only season in the second Richard Dawson era, which were both allowed to continue airing on the channel on a separate contract. This period lasted until April 18, 1998. With the other Goodson Todman shows gone, lesser known Sony properties such as Juvenile Jury, The Diamond Head Game, the 1976 77 version of Break the Bank, and the Bill Cullen hosted games Chain Reaction and Pass the Buck all found their way onto the schedule. Shows from Chuck Barris also aired during this time, including The Newlywed Game, The Dating Game, The Gong Show, Treasure Hunt, and Three's a Crowd. Game Show Network also aired a children's game show block at this time, highlighted by Joker. Joker, Joker, Jep, and Wheel 2000 the respective adaptations of the Joker's Wild, Jeopardy, and Wheel of Fortune. 1998–2004 On April 18, 1998, Game Show Network bought back the rights to the Goodson Todman Library. In late 1998, GSN eliminated all of its live programming, replacing them with in-show advertisements like Win TV. 
In 1999, the network began a slate of original programming, including Inquisition, All New Threes A Crowd and Hollywood Showdown. The channel also launched original shows such as Extreme Gong, a remake of the classic Gong show. In 2000, the network faced another setback when GSN lost the rights to broadcast The Price is Right, with the last episode airing on April 3 of that year. In 2001, a massive change in both leadership and programming at the network took place. Liberty Media acquired a 50% stake in the network and changed its leadership. President Michael Fleming and Vice President Jake Tauber were both fired and former Fox Family Channel President Rich Cronin was hired to head the network. He and incoming Vice President Bob Bowden began the biggest original programming venture since the network's inception, launching Whammy. The all-new press your luck, friend or foe, Russian roulette, lingo, win tuition and cram. In addition, in the fall of 2001, the network acquired the rights to air the classic Press Your Luck excluding the Michael Larson episodes. Due to pressure from CBS, this angered many fans, resulting in CBS eventually giving Game Show Network the rights to the Larson episodes, airing them in a separate package, as well as in conjunction with the documentary Big Bucks, the Press Your Luck scandal. In the fall of 2003, Game Show Network picked up the rights to the ABC version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Regis Philbin, and in December, began airing GSN Video Games, the first program to air on the network that had nothing to do with traditional game shows. Although the show, a repackaging of somewhat dated British video game review shows mostly Gamer.TV was short-lived, it was a sign of the network's change of format from Game Show Network's All Game Shows, All the Time to what eventually became GSN, the network for games. Its last program using Game Show Network was Lingo. Topic 2004 to 2018, GSN. On March 15, 2004, Game Show Network began using the abbreviation GSN and introduced the tagline The Network for Games. A move in line with the network expanding its programming to include the genre of reality television and various other competitions. GSN also introduced the original series at 10 p.m. weekdays, World Series of Blackjack, National Lampoon's Greek Games, Kenny vs. Spenny a Canadian import, and the short-lived Fake a Date, a Find a Mate program with host Evan Marriott, the original Joe Millionaire. GSN also added reruns of The Mole and Spy TV, Blackjack and Poker Royale signified the beginnings of GSN's attempts to cash in on the TV poker craze at the time. In 2006, GSN introduced High Stakes Poker, a poker show with a private game format among professional players, and also aired additional series World Series of Blackjack and a spin-off, Celebrity Blackjack. One of the most popular shows from the initial TV poker boom, The World Poker Tour, was slated to move from the Travel Channel to GSN on March 24, 2008. Within a year of GSN's revamp, it began returning its focus primarily to studio-based game shows. On February 25, 2008, GSN returned to live television games and debuted GSN Live, a live interactive call-in show, hosted by Heidi Behay and Fred Rogan. The show was similar in format to a former Game Show Network program, Club AM, and aired weekdays from noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Time during breaks between the programming lineup at the time. The show featured calls from viewers, interviews with classic game show hosts and behind-the-scenes features of game shows. At three separate points in each day, interactive games were played with at-home contestants. Contestants could win anything from jewelry to GSN merchandise, or during month-long contests, a new car or a hot tub. In March 2011, DirecTV, which by this point had taken over Liberty Media's stake in the network, which had increased to 65%, sold a 5% stake in the network back to Sony Pictures Entertainment. Although DirecTV nominally remained the majority owner, it had ceded control of the network to Sony and has the right to force Sony to increase its stake in GSN to 58%. On August 23, 2012, GSN debuted the American Bible Challenge hosted by Jeff Foxworthy, which became the channel's most popular program of all time, with the series premiere being watched by 2 million viewers. On September 3, 2012, GSN debuted a revival of the $25,000 Pyramid, called The Pyramid hosted by Mike Richards. 
On November 8, 2012, DirecTV sold an 18% interest in GSN to Sony. GSN premiered an American version of the UK game show The Chase on August 6, 2013, hosted by Brooke Burns and featuring Mark Labette, one of the chasers on the UK version, as the sole chaser, known as the Beast. The show received a Daytime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Game Show in 2014, and Burns received a nomination for Outstanding Game Show Host two years later. 2018 Present, Return to Game Show Network GSN began referring to itself by its former on-screen name of Game Show Network for brief periods from November 4, 2013 to June 2, 2015. The network did so again, while keeping the then-current GSN logo, starting on December 26, 2017 to coincide with the launch of a new Saturday Night Classics block, featuring reruns of the game shows Match Game, Press Your Luck, Card Sharks, and Let's Make a Deal. The block was short-lived, ending in January 2018. GSN premiered the original series America Says, hosted by John Michael Higgins, on June 18, 2018, and the video clip game show Caroline and Friends, hosted by actress Caroline Rhea, on July 16, 2018. On October 1, 2018, the network officially dropped the GSN branding, reverted its name back to Game Show Network for the first time since March 14, 2004, and introduced a new logo to coincide with the return to the Game Show Network branding. Programming Original programming GSN has also produced several original series. In the channel's early days, GSN aired a three-hour block called Club AM, consisting of five classic game shows, surrounded by 30 minutes worth of interstitial trivia, interviews with game show producers, personalities, contestants and fans, and interactive call-in games, all hosted by Laura Chambers and Steve Day, which was also rerun in Late Night, with some new segments, under the title Late Night Games. Prime Games was a similarly formatted show aired weeknights and hosted by Peter Tamarkin. Wide World of Games was a Saturday night block of four shows built around a common theme. After a few years, these shows were replaced by Game TV, a half-hour interview show hosted by Nancy Sullivan and Dave Namath, Game World, which showed highlights of current game shows from around the world, and standalone 30-minute call in games like Super Decades and Trivia Track. Later, the channel attempted a gong show remake called Extreme Gong, hosted by George Gray, in which the viewers could phone in their votes as to whether to Gong acts off the air and Throut and Neck hosted by Rebecca Grant where viewers controlled video game characters with their phones. But all these efforts were eventually cancelled and removed from the network's schedule. Traditional game show offerings since 2000 have included Hollywood Showdown, Inquisition, All New Threes A Crowd, Mall Masters, Whammy. The all-new Press Your Luck, Friend or Foe, a game based on the prisoner's dilemma, Russian Roulette, Wintuition, Cram, National Lampoon's Funny Money and Lingo, a Chuck Woolery-hosted revival of the 1987-88 Canadian format in which teams guess five-letter words in a combination of Giotto, Mastermind and Bingo. The network produced six seasons of the show from 2002 to 2007. Originals debuting in 2006 included Playmania, a late-night call-in game that expanded from two to at one point six nights a week continuing until October 31, 2007, and a revival of Chain Reaction, which ended its run on June 9, 2007. That's the Question, Starface, and a revival of I've Got a Secret also debuted in 2006. Debuting in July 2007 were Camouflage, remade as a word game, and Without Prejudice, a remake of a British show where five people decide which contestant would win $25,000 based in part on their responses to questioning. Debuting on August 4, 2007 was Grand Slam, a game show involving big winners from other shows, including Ken Jennings, John Carpenter, and Brad Rutter. For 2008, a U.S. version of a BBC game show called How Much Is Enough, debuted on January 8, 2008, hosted by Corbin Burnson, and then on March 31, 2008, Bingo America made its debut with Patrick Duffy as host. On July 21, 2008, as something of a tie-in with the movie 21, Meryl Heater returned to game show producing with Catch 21, a revival of the 1970s game Gambit, hosted by Alfonso Ribeiro with Mickey Padilla as the dealer. 
GSN also relaunched a live interactive call in interstitial series, this time known as GSN Live, which aired during commercial breaks between noon and 6 p.m. Eastern Monday through Friday. Originally the series took place over a three-hour span, with Fred Rogan and Heidi Behay hosting the interstitial segments. Later in the year GSN expanded the series to six hours, with Rogan moving to the 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. block with Kelly Packard while Alfonso Ribeiro replaced him earlier in the day. Packard was forced to leave her position shortly after taking it, and Rogan hosted with a guest host until May 15, 2009 when Deborah Skelton was chosen to be a permanent co-host as of May 26, 2009. Rogan left GSN Live on July 2, 2009 in order to concentrate on his new game show The Money List. Alfonso left GSN Live on August 11, 2009 in order to concentrate on hosting Catch-21. GSN Live itself ended in July 2011. Also in 2009, the newlywed game returned to the air on GSN, this time with Carney Wilson as host. On June 13, 2009, GSN premiered its big Saturday Night Live interactive show Block, hosted by Keegan-Michael Key, Ross Matthews and Carissa Thompson. The three-hour block features a variety of games, such as identifying pictures. Included in the block are 20Q, hosted by Cat Dealey and featuring the voice of Hal Sparks as Mr. Q, and The Money List, hosted by Fred Rogan. A hidden camera series, Instant Recall, hosted by Wink Martindale, premiered on March 4, 2010. A revival of 1 vs. 100, hosted by Carrie Ann Inaba, aired in 2010. On November 18, 2010, Game Show Network announced that Drew Carey would host a new improvisational comedy show entitled Drew Carey's Improv A Gonza in the spring of 2011 on April 11, 2011. The shows were filmed at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas in January and February 2011. The show lasted 40 episodes before being cancelled due to low ratings. In the fall of 2012, GSN premiered a new revival titled The Pyramid, with Mike Richards hosting. The American Bible Challenge with Jeff Foxworthy became the channel's most popular program of all time, with the series premiere being watched by 2 million viewers. On August 6, 2013, GSN debuted The Chase hosted by Brooke Burns and featuring Mark Labette as The Beast. In the summer of 2014, GSN debuted new series such as It Takes a Church, Skin Wars, and Idiotest. GSN has announced they will be showing a U.S. version of the BBC One show Pointless. Topic. Specials The network has run blocks of classic game shows on Saturday nights, and for the first few months of 2006 programmed back-to-back -back episodes of Match Game in a block billed as That 70s Hour, a pun on That 70s Show, which showed the original production slate before each episode as well as Match Game trivia and brief clips of an interview with host Gene Rayburn produced shortly before his death. Although production slates had been aired by the network prior to this, That 70s Hour was the first time the network intentionally did so. During the summer of 2006, the network began a special seven-week run of the 50 greatest game shows of all time. In November 2006, GSN started a series of eight documentaries hosted by Chuck Woolery, each about game shows, beginning with a program on match game titled Behind the Blank. Other subjects included game show producer Chuck Barris, who wants to be a millionaire, a top 10. Countdown of game show hosts, memorable game show moments, women who have featured prominently on game shows, celebrities and how they impacted game shows, and an insider's guide to winning on a game show. One particularly interesting subject was the installments of Press Your Luck in which Michael Larson won more than $100,000 in cash and prizes by memorizing the sequences of the board then used, which was the subject of Big Bucks, the Press Your Luck scandal. Peter Tamarkin, who had hosted Press Your Luck, hosted and narrated this documentary in 2003. The documentary became Game Show Network's most watched show ever at the time scoring a 1.7 at one point during the show. Originally, CBS, the original broadcaster of Press Your Luck, did not want GSN to air the Larson episodes. However, this angered many fans, causing CBS to allow Game Show Network to air the episodes as part of the documentary as well as standalone episodes. 
In 2007, the network debuted two new specials, the National Vocabulary Championship, with a show airing on April 15, 2007 showcasing the first year of the event, and a broadcast of the Cat Fanciers Association International Cat Show, Catminster. In November 2008, GSN and Meow Mix presented a special entitled Think Like a Cat, hosted by Chuck Woolery, with a top prize of $1 million, one of the few times a game show on cable television has had that amount as a grand prize. On December 16, 2014, GSN aired a special called Game Show Flashback, hosted by Ben Glebe, which featured some of the best moments in game show history. On December 23, 2014, GSN aired a two-hour special called The Line, hosted by Jeff Davis and Candace Bailey. On January 1, 2015, in preparation for the revival of Baggage entitled Baggage on the Road, GSN aired a special called Baggage, Most Outrageous Moments hosted by Jerry Springer. Topic acquired programming GSN's acquired programming comes primarily from Fremantle Media, with acquired programming also coming from NBC Universal Television Distribution, Warner Brothers. Television Distribution, and GSN parent company Sony Pictures Television. Before Liberty Media purchased 50% of the network, GSN had unlimited access to the game shows owned by Sony Pictures Entertainment subsidiary Columbia TriStar Television. From Fremantle, the network licenses Match Game, Rayburn, Family Feud, Karn, O'Hurley, and Harvey, Card Sharks, Perry and Eubanks, Press Your Luck, and Sale of the Century. GSN had licensed the entire Mark Goodson Bill Todman library from its inception until March 2009 and has, in the past, also licensed Let's Make a Deal, another Fremantle property, for air on the network. Older versions of these shows are now aired on rival channel Buzz R, which is a sub-channel on many broadcast television stations in major cities. In the network's infancy, GSN regularly showcased vintage Goodson Todman game and panel shows from the 1950s and 1960s, many of which were either originally broadcast or only preserved in black and white, such as What's My Line? I've Got a Secret, To Tell the Truth and Beat the Clock. These classic shows made up much of the channel's lineup at the outset, but have been gradually cut back in prominence since the late 1990s. On October 1, 2006, Only What's My Line? had a regular spot on the schedule, late Sunday, early Monday at 3 a.m. Eastern Time. It was followed by a selection from various 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s Goodson Todman shows, usually another panel game. On December 19, 2006, GSN reinstated the black and white overnight to seven days a week from 3 o'clock to 4 a.m. Eastern Time, showcasing What's My Line, and I've Got a Secret in the Block, other shows, including Choose Up Sides, The Name's the Same, and the Bud Collier hosted primetime version of To Tell the Truth have been featured. This run ended March 31, 2009. Black and White Overnight has returned for two weeks in December since 2009, featuring What's My Line, and I've Got a Secret. Over the years, GSN, in addition to its Goodson Todman Library, featured game shows from other studios, NBC Universal Television Distribution, 21, 2000, Weakest Link, Dog Eat Dog, Deal or No Deal, 1 vs. 100, Minute to Win It 20th Television, Greed and Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, Fox, CBS Television Distribution, Hollywood Squares MGM Domestic Television Distribution, Hollywood Squares Warner Brothers. Television Distribution, Love Connection, Street Smarts, and Let's Ask America Disney ABC Domestic Television, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Win Ben Stein's Money, and Win, Lose or Draw GSN also airs, or has aired, the Sony Pictures Television Library programming from the following companies, the Guber Peters Entertainment Company formerly Barris Industries, The Newlywed Game, The Dating Game, The Gong Show, Three's a Crowd, Treasure Hunt, and Quiz Kids Challenge. Barry and Enright Productions, Tic Tac Doe, The Joker's Wild, Break the Bank, Bullseye, Play the Percentages, and Bumper Stumpers. Merv Griffin Enterprises, Headline Chasers, Jeopardy, and Wheel of Fortune Stewart Television, Jackpot, Pass the Buck, Go, Chain Reaction, and The Surviving Pyramid Incarnations. Two-way traffic, that's the question. 
Sony Pictures Television including its predecessors from Screen Gems to Columbia TriStar Television, Pyramid, Russian Roulette, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Dealer's Choice, The Diamond Head Game, and The Fun Factory, and Celebrity Caridess in October 2003, GSN acquired the rerun rights to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? from Disney ABC Domestic Television, both the network and syndicated versions and have added more episodes since, including the Super Millionaire spin-off from 2004, the show was off the schedule from November November 2012 to December 2017, when repeats of the Chris Harrison episodes were added to the schedule. Among the most well-known classic game shows previously aired regularly on the network include The Price is Right, The Joker's Wild, Tattletales, Hollywood Squares, The Dating Game, Love Connection and Let's Make a Deal. Topic GSN HD GSN HD is a high-definition simulcast feed on Game Show Network that broadcasts in the 1080i resolution format. It launched on September 15, 2010. It is currently carried nationwide on DirecTV and Dish Network, regionally on AT&T Verse, and in limited markets on providers such as Time Warner Cable, Service Electric Cable TV, Verizon Fios, Comcast, Charter Communications and Bright House Networks. Since 2010, all GSN original programming has been produced in HD. Up until 2014, while classic programs were aired in their original aspect ratio, almost all other non-HD programming was stretched to fit the aspect ratio of 16 to 9 at the time. Now the HD feed is letterboxed for SD, and all programming is shown in its native aspect ratio. Topic. GSN On Demand GSN partnered with Viewbiquity to launch GSN On Demand on August 15, 2013. Current On Demand options include recent GSN originals such as Baggage and The Chase as well as episodes of Steve Harvey's Family Feud. <laughs> Online gaming In 2007, Liberty Media acquired the Toronto-based Fun Technologies, operator of the popular online tournament casual gaming website Worldwinner. Following the acquisition, Liberty began to extend the GSN brand into online gaming by rebranding Worldwinner as a GSN service. GSN also launched a social gaming app on Facebook, now known as GSN Casino, featuring skill and casino games along with competitive tournaments. By October 2010, GSN Casino had over 8 million active users. GSN also developed a Wheel of Fortune app for Facebook. Released in 2010, GSN also published GSN Casino mobile apps, featuring various slot machine and bingo games. In 2013, GSN Casino was the 10th highest grossing app for iPad on the App Store. In January 2014, GSN acquired Bitrimes Inc., developers of the social and mobile games Bingo Bash and Slots Bash, for an undisclosed amount. GSN had sued Bitrimes in November 2013 following its prior offer to acquire the company, arguing that it had attempted to back out of its offer and accept a different one during GSN's exclusive negotiation period. In a reversal of these synergies, it was announced in November 2014 that a game show based on Bingo Bash was in development for Game Show Network's 2015 slate of original programming. Topic. Syndication GSN began syndicating some of its original programming to other channels in the early 2010s. Baggage aired in syndication on numerous local stations during the 2012-13 television season. On June 24, 2013, the channel entered into an agreement with Bounce TV allowing it the broadcast rights to the newlywed game, Catch-21 and the American Bible Challenge. The American Bible Challenge aired in reruns on Up in Fall 2013 and again in Spring 2015. Drew Carey's Improv A Gonza recently aired on Laugh. <laughs> Topic. See also Buzz R, a competing network, available as an aerial subchannel in selected American markets. Challenge, a British channel devoted to airing British game shows from various archives along with some international shows. Game TV, a Canadian channel which airs classic Canadian game shows, and other programs. Nickelodeon Gas, a now defunct channel devoted to airing Nickelodeon game shows. 
The Game Channel, a Philippine channel focused on family game shows and reality shows. Questions and Answers. Questions and Answers. A Russian channel devoted to Russian game shows along with a few international shows. equals equals notes. <laughs>